Hey, good evening. This is Sophie going live. Day 166. Um, I have almost normal voice. I'm feeling better. Still tired, but better. <laughs> um, and tonight I wanted to tell you a little story about swimming. Um, it was a lovely day this afternoon. So... As we still have free time, it's still school holidays here in the, where I live, we went to the swimming pool. And we, we really like going to the swimming pool in the summer. My kids love swimming and, and splashing in the water and, and doing all sorts of things. Um, so we went there and the I'm very fortunate now that the children are big enough that I can actually have a proper swim. For years, I would basically be, you know, keeping an eye on them all the time. But now that I later, our, our last child can swim properly, it's much more relaxed and I can actually tell them, look, I'm going to go and do some lengths. And yeah, you just look after yourselves. So I, I had um, I had a really nice long swim today, and I really love it. For me, I'm not a, an extremely good swimmer, but I really really enjoy swimming. I find it's very relaxing. It does my back good. It makes me, I don't know. There's something about being right in the water that makes me. It's like I'm in another world, and I really love it. But anyway. That's kind of a bit beside the point. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, in the my story really is about what a conversation we had on in the car coming back, because in the car coming back, I started to talk with our eldest daughter Clara about swimming and about the fact that I'd done many lengths today. Um, and my eldest daughter said, how do you do that, mum? I swim one or two lengths and then I'm completely out of breath. And we started to talk about that. And our daughter, my daughter Clara, was surprised because she is a flutist. She plays uh, the flute and she plays a lot of flute at a high level. So her breath, she has a good lung capacity. Um, she can play notes and hold them for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something or one minute. I don't know, but it's quite amazing. So she was saying to me and she was right. She was saying, but look, mum, I have good lungs. I have a good capacity for taking in a deep breath and holding my breath in and all that stuff. Why do I get out of breath when I swim? And... And this got me, well, we, we just talked about this and I told her what I've noticed. At the beginning of the swimming season of the summer, I too get out of breath much more quickly than I, and then at the end of the season than now. And I always take a little time to adjust. I do one length and I'm, I'm a little bit out of breath and then I do a second length and it takes me a few lengths to get my rhythm, to, to get a good, to get into a kind of breathing pattern that I've just practiced over the years and I, I can do it now kind of thing. And I was saying to my daughter, well, it's just because you, you haven't practiced that particular breathing skills. You know how to breathe when you're playing the flute. You don't necessarily know how to to have the good breathing pattern necessary to do a lot of many lengths in when you're swimming in the pool. And, and yeah, again, this really made me think about business building. Well, I guess about building anything. But as I'm talking about building a business online, I'll talk about that. Um, I think that really it takes time to get into a kind of pattern to to understand how it works, just like in the swimming pool. It takes a while to figure how you have to breathe, when you can put your head out of the water, how much air you have to take in, when you can, 
what you have to do when your head is in the water um, and stuff like that. And same with business. It takes a while to figure it out. Um, you know, how often are you going to post on Facebook and um, how are you going to get your audience and what is your thing? You know, is it, do you want to do paid ads or do you want to do free Facebook traffic or do you want to do email marketing or do you want to have a group or do you have to want to have a web page? I don't know, all these things. It takes time to figure them out and then it takes time to build a kind of habit and and it takes time to feel comfortable. But if you do it, if you find your thing, what you love, and you start finding the tricks of what, what works for you and and yeah, and how it works and how you have to do it so that it feels comfortable, then it becomes almost easy and kind of pleasurable and it, it makes you feel good just like the swimming makes me feel good so yeah it, it just it just got me thinking that everything in life really is like that isn't it and we mustn't get discouraged if it's hard at the beginning and if we're out of breath <laughs> and if it seems like it's not very nice <laughs> because actually hello Judy thank you for watching <laughs> so even if it's uncomfortable um and and yeah even if it feels a bit complicated um after a while it just becomes kind of second nature and it becomes quite easy um and so there you go this is what i wanted to share um, and I hope it helps in some way. <laughs> and I am now going to say goodbye. I'll see you again tomorrow. If you like the video, give it a like or a love. Thank you. <laughs> and um, if you watch replay, let me know. Hashtag replay. I'll be back tomorrow for more. Bye for now. <laughs>